Good day, class. Welcome to another lecture in Building Systems Design. Once again, I am architect Seth Carlo Bielza, your instructor. And today, we will discuss some extra provisions in the Revised National Plumbing Code of the Philippines and their application in a simple residential project. So to start our discussion for today, uh, those of, uh, of you who have been my students nung CE 112. So the first thing that we discuss in building utilities uh, are the 22 plumbing principles. No? Kasi itong 22 plumbing principles na to, dito nanggaling yung mga chapters, dito din derived yung mga technical definitions or yung technical uh, description ng mga chapters ng ating plumbing code. And uh, these principles, no, these are our grounds for design. No, as uh, master plumbers or plumbing engineers. So we start our design, our plumbing layout with the architectural floor plan. So the architectural floor plan serves as our base plan for the design and the fixtures that will be installed. No? And uh, in a simple residential project, we must always keep in mind the sixth principle the basic plumbing unit. No, what is so important with this sixth uh, plumbing principle? Kasi sa isang bahay, ang bahay meron, basically, merong kusina. At pag meron kang kusina, of course, meron kang pinaguhugasan ng mga plato at ng mga uh, pagkain. No? Meron kang uh, lababo. No, yung ating kitchen sink. And then, for hygiene, syempre, ang isang bahay, dapat meron ding banyo, may toilet and bath. No? So, uh, ang minimum requirement no, para maging toilet and bath yan, three-fourth bathroom. No? Yung fixtures, may shower, may uh, water closet, and merong lavatory. So yun yung uh, basic plumbing unit. No? Kasi uh, yung bahay, no? Uh, kailangan kailangan, no? Kailangan kailangan itong mga fixtures na ito ng uh, user, no? User ng bahay na yun o yung uh, may-ari ng bahay na yun. And uh, other provisions, no? To be for it uh, to become a minimum plumbing unit, no? Kailangan ng water meter, kailangan ng floor drain or yung shower drain, at kailangan meron kang faucet. No? Faucet either for watering the plants or for laundry, washing the clothes. So, punta na tayo sa technical descriptions no? ng mga uh, chapters na ito. So in chapter 6, this is for the water supply, anong sabi doon? That the minimum working pressure, no, for uh, our fixture for our plumbing system depends on the type of fixtures, no, their flashing actions. Uh, kapag kayan ay merong uh, flashometer bulb, no, or flashometer type it requires no, 16 PSI water pressure for it to function properly. No? Pero kung walang uh, flashometer yan, so the minimum required working pressure in the plumbing system or in the water supply is 8 PSI. No? And then yung ating mga uh, fixture supply line, no? so iba-iba rin yung size no ah uh, ito yung uh, usually na ginagamit ito yung standard sizes no so the minimum for lavatory no 
uh, individual supply is a one half inch diameter uh, stub out. No? For the kitchen supply, yung kitchen sink natin, that is three fourth inch diameter pipe. For the uh, water meter, on the service entrance, the minimum is 3 fourth inch diameter. And for the building supply, ang minimum is 1 half inch diameter. Pero uh, nagdidepende, of course, yung ating uh, building supply and yung uh, uh, main water line on the... Uh, demand no ng uh, mako-compute natin no yung ating water supply fixture demand so it depends on that and yung size ng ating mga branches no branch lines also depends kung ano yung mga fixtures na magtatap in doon so for our sewer line naman, no? this is based on chapter 7, yung ating mga minimum pipes na ginagamit for the uh, water closet, no? uh, we use 3 inch diameter, no? minimum. For our lab lavatory drain, no? yung uh, fixture drain, minimum is 1 and 1 fourth. And then yung kitchen sink, it's one one half inch diameter. Yung ating floor drain, that is two inch diameter minimum. And then the house drain, no? uh, the minimum, sabi ng code, is three inches. And yung house sewer, no? uh, that is four inches no? minimum diameter. So... Na discuss doon sa CE 112 sa Engineering Utilities 2 ke, uh, kung ano yung difference ng dalawa ng house drain and house sewer. No? And uh, sabi nga natin for every change in direction of the pipe or uh, for every 15 meter length developed length of the pipe we must provide clean outs no clean outs ano use ng clean outs for uh, maintenance no so uh, for the vent line naman no so we browse yung chapter 9 no and we know that uh, each fixture for it to function properly no uh, each fixture requires an individual vent no and then the terminal of the vent no uh, papunta sa uh, labas no yun yung sabi ng code and then yung ating uh, sewer line naman no so papunta yan dapat sa septic tank no kung hindi available yung centralized stp or the sewage treatment plant no uh, may, there are cities na meron ng sariling stp pero uh, meron pa ring mga wala no there are also some uh, residential developments that they have their own stp dedicated for their uh, plant unit development but uh, sabi ng code, pag uh, hindi available yung STP, so we must provide a dedicated a watertight receptacle at ito yung ating septic tank. No? So ano bang sabi ng plumbing code? Uh, two chambers no? uh, for digestion, no? in the digestive chamber, and the second chamber for leaching. But we know with the uh, latest memorandum released by the Department of Health, no, uh, septic tank, no, should have three chambers, no, yun yung minimum. So uh, one chamber for 
uh, digestion and then the two other chambers for leaching no para maglinaw yung tubig yung uh, effluent and also in our uh, plumbing code no nandun din dapat yung gagamitin nating mga materials no di ba uh, there is also a plumbing principle na nagsasabi na uh, use only materials that are specified by a master plumber. No? So, ang mga nagde-design ng ating plumbing system, plumbing and sanitary system for uh, residential, so these are the master plumbers. So, they know what type, what kind of materials are to be used. No? So we may choose, uh, they may uh, specify to use yung uh, flexible pipe. So ito yung, uh, one example, yung PVC. No? Pwede natin gamitin yun. But it should conform yung sa schedule. No? Schedule na uh, as written on the specification. No? Series 1000 and then uh, type DWB for uh, orange pipe. Or we may use, pag water supply, yung rigid pipe. No? So ito yung uh, PPR, or the polypropylene random. No? And for the drainage, we may also use, no? for storm drainage, we may also use yung mga concrete pipes. So that's all. I hope uh, we have refreshed your memories. No? Uh, dito sa Revised National Plumbing Code. So thank you for your listening and see you again in our next lecture. Thank you.